Okay. Today I'm showing you something which I believe is pretty rare. I can't really tell for sure. I can't really find that much information on these. It's called the Game Line. It was used for the 2600. It was released in 1983. And what it is, it's a, like a modem for your Atari so you could download games and um, play them. Which is pretty cool because I didn't know they even had this. Now I found this for $10. I also got another one. They're brand new but the plastic seal is a little bit messed up. Brand new from 83. And they were $10 each so... The guy actually had five of them but I didn't buy them all because I didn't know how much they were worth. And I can't really find anything because I couldn't find any on eBay or in closed auctions or current auctions. Couldn't find any really up to date information on these. It's pretty cool. I wanted to show you. Now, since the seal's messed up, I could have. I. The ones. That one's more messed up than this one. So I went. Took the liberty to show you guys. This is actually the first time I ever opened it, too. I'll show you what the cartridge is, what it looks like, in a minute. But let's see if you can read this. Game Line brings an endless stream of video games into your home through your telephone. And you can read this at your leisure. And then let's see what it says here. And then it just saying the compatible stuff. More compatible stuff. And then this is like the short instructions. Receive your gains under 60 seconds or less. I guess that seems pretty fast, but since the gains are only like a couple kilobytes, that's not that impressive. But for 83, it's not bad. Then there's like some weird screenshot looking thing which won't focus. Okay, now let me look at the other box, and this is how big the cartridge is. I actually opened this just a couple minutes ago, and I'm pretty shocked at how big this thing is. Just to show you how big it is, see, here's a copy of, let's see if you can see, <laughs> Bachelor Party. Here's a regular 2600 game right here, and yeah, that thing's quite a bit larger. See if I could take it out without destroying it. Here's the manual and stuff, which I'm not going to open. Let's just take a look at the cartridge for a minute. Yeah, this thing's pretty big and it's quite heavy. A little bit dirty. Brand new though. So I just wanted to show you that. Let's see if where's the phone jack. Oh, there it is. There's the phone jack port. Then I guess that's where you put your 9 volt battery. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I just wanted to show you because I never knew such a thing had existed. I don't know if you could tell me anything about it. That I'd be glad. I really don't know that much about this. You could actually find a list of the games you could download. Now the main, the 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 company who made this try to get like um, licenses like from more of the better known companies like Atari, but they wouldn't let it let them to stream their games. So the biggest company they got to stream their games was uh, iMagic, who made I guess some good games. There's actually a pretty big list of games that you could have downloaded. This seems like it was pretty cool, but this came out at the wrong time. Like I saw, like right here it says, you see, 1983, and I'm sure most of you know what happened that year when the video game market crashed, and that's probably part of the reason why this didn't take off. So, just wanted to show you that, and see you later.